gonna flood. First, there was wind, then hail and rain. The whole thing must have happened in about 60 seconds. Yeah, we have this incredible new video that shows that desperate race to escape a flash flood. Yeah, six local hikers and a Nevada man were killed this week in Utah's Zion National Park. And today, the man who recorded that video is talking about the terror and the race to outrun the rain. In fact, he says that storm came up so fast that there was no warning. Oh, my God. We need to get down. With fierce rains, hail, and 50 mile an hour winds. It's scary because the wind is just, you know, wailing, and on the, to our left is a, cl is a cliff. And so we huddled to the mountain on our right. Jordan Birnbaum and his girlfriend were trapped, pushed up against a canyon wall at Zion National Park, floodwaters closing in on them. Guys, you need to go down. It's, it's going to flood. You need to go down. It's going to flood. It's gonna Careful, get low. Stuck in the gorge with a GoPro strapped on his head, Birnbaum knew the only way out was to outrun the rains that could sweep them to their deaths. All we were thinking about was survival. So it, it was just, I'm getting down this mountain. Birnbaum says that storm came up terrifyingly quick, cloudy and breezy one moment, and then fierce flooding. And I see waterfalls just coming through the pathway and at that moment, it was almost like an instinct. That instinct saved their lives. For seven harrowing minutes, they ran across a river and along a rocky cliffside. Birnbaum and his girlfriend made it out alive, but seven others, six of them from Southern California, did not. The victims were from a local hiking club. This is the last picture of that group geared up as they started the hike that would put them on the path to death. Birnbaum said he knew when the weather turned, it was not going to end well. Some people are going to be in some really big trouble, stranded or whatnot. We didn't know at the time, but we knew this was not going to end peacefully. It's okay. It's okay. We don't want to worry about that now. All right, coming up on CBS 2 News at 5 o'clock, we're going to talk with friends and colleagues of a local woman who was killed in the Zion flash flood. Muku Reynolds was a grandmother from Chino. We'll have that at 5 o'clock.